green vegetables, grains and wild mushrooms, for example, grown in, especially when grown in contaminated soils, such as uh, from the use of cadmium containing fertilizers or deposition from nearby industrial activities may have higher cadmium concentrations. Moreover, shellfish may take up cadmium if the seawater is contaminated and then animals grown on cadmium contaminated feed or water may build up cadmium in their liver and kidney. cadmium is accumulated in the bones, it may be uh, uh, connected with the osteoporosis problems in uh, menopausal period in women, and this may be um, then reflected in a higher risks of bone fractures. exposure in the European general population is generally low, uh, but in almost all countries uh, for which we have data available, uh, we can see that there is a certain normally small proportion of people of all age, ages, of all age groups, who show somehow elevated exposure uh, with levels that cannot be considered safe. And another interesting observation is that in the last decade, uh, the exposure is more or less staying at the same level. Uh, in some countries, we can see slightly decreasing levels, while in some even increasing. One of the specific aims uh, within the HBM for Europe project is to estimate uh, to what extent uh, the people are exposed to cadmium from artificial phosphorus fertilizers that are used in the growth of crops for human diet. sets limits for the levels of cadmium in food, including drinking water and food contact materials, uh, certain products and in the environment, particularly in sewage sludge and artificial fertilizers. Mm -hmm. 